right. Hey, you don't remember where I put that book last time. Okay. Opus 90 number two. So you like that one the most? Yes. Why? Why the design good? Okay. You remember how it sounds like? Sort of. How does it sound like? Okay. Almost ninety number two. Yeah, it's a good piece for you. It's it's a good piece. Um, I will make a copy for you. Actually, I will let you make a copy after you're done. All right, let's go.
is this piano different from the one you have at home? It's like loud. It's easier to get loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The keys are a little bit lighter. And probably more sensitive. Yeah. However, you should have one standard across different pianos because every piano will be different. Have you done any school performance? At uh, school? No talent show, those kind of things? Never? You are in a miserable school. You sure they don't have any festival? No. No. What happened? Usually schools have talent show and things like that. And keep your eyes open. I mean, when school resumes, you may want to sign up for a performance there. That's how you can get like you know, hundreds, thousands of people watching you play. Yeah, that would be amazing. Now, every piano you come across will be different. However, you should always have the ideal sound in your mind. And you can adapt to the different piano. For example, this piano has a really big bass, right? It just goes boom! The bass just explode, explode. Yeah? So, you need to be careful with that. Don't smash so hard like you usually do at home. Yeah, the top needs more power to bring out. Yeah, so you got to give a little bit more depth. You can touch with the right hand. Otherwise, the right hand is just not quite coming out at all. And that's what's happening for the most part. It's lacking the brightness. Okay, the flow is not bad. It's the brightness that's lacking. And sometimes it just sounds a little bit too. It's a Solid ground. Yes, this is impressionism. It should be about color, you know, flow of energy. But it's still kind of need to be a little more solid. It's too just like airy right now. Can you try from there? Bom 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 bom. Go. Is that the ideal sound you have in your mind? How do you want it to be? Where? Okay, go ahead.
ta ta ta. Hear that? Okay, just play the first note. No, all the notes together. Go. Okay, start. Just the first one. Bum. No, all the notes. Like all the other three notes. Yeah. Did you listen to the volume? Mm -hmm. And that's how much you need to have for the next few notes. Bum bum bum. Everyone equal to amount of sound.
right in there. Come on. You're not looking at around random places, just just that's just the first thing you see. And not the first thing after you see the line. Yeah, it leads your eyes. How about here? Right. You see the line that's kind of making? It leads you to that person right there. What's the main subject here? Where, where is it leading you to? That person. The middle, right? This is the extreme leading lines. They are somehow more hidden. Okay? But these are like the just like crazy example. Like Oh, this is more like, see the river? Leads you to the sun star right there. Yeah? This is more like a, a little bit less like right in your face. <laughs> and, and in music, there are a lot of lines like that too. You know? Like that one? There's a line. The one is going out. It leads to that. And when you play the Schubert. Yeah! When you play the Schubert, there are plenty of those. Because it's a very common technique in composition. Which helps you to listen to the bass. See that? There's a hidden line there. I mean, it's not exactly straight, but it's a line there. And there are a lot of places where you have those hidden lines everywhere. So. When you are listening to a melody, you don't just listen from note to note. You actually listen across the measure, across a longer distance, and creates a, a plot. It's like in a movie. At the beginning, the character put a gun in a box, just in the middle of nowhere. And in the last scene, when you run out of bullet fighting the bad guys, you find the gun. It's picked up. Finish the. Ultimate crime boss, the end. You're like, oh yeah, I remember that boss from the beginning of the movie. You know, but sometimes it's cool to have something that's kind of cover, fly over, you know, a period of time and still lingering there. And that's cool. And that's really cool to do. And just a short example of that. In music, there are things like that too. For example, you have a theme at the beginning. Don't really hear the theme again until you hit to the climax and boom! Oh, the theme comes back. Remember the rock lines off you play? That thing is like wow, everywhere, right? That's all the sort of line that leads you to the music. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, all right. From right here, can you give me a most sparkling sound on the right hand, soft on the left hand? It's just me.
How brilliant that is, isn't it? Sparkling sound on the right hand. Because a legato is not just a sound, it's the feeling. Okay? If you're doing things like. Do you feel a connection between the notes? No. No, right? Because you. That's it! I don't really remember how it feels like now. But if you hold it down. Oh, that's. Oh, that's how deep I'm gonna hold it. Next one. I wanna read more sound. Next one. I keep, keep a little bit deeper, even deeper here. That one will be less. So remember this, legato is not just sound, it's also feeling. When you can feel the note, you have more control. The control will be more precise. Okay? One of the reasons that people play something, the notes are connected, but it doesn't sound musical. It doesn't sound singing. It's because they don't have enough shape. Why don't they have enough shape? Well, it's because they cannot feel the connection between the notes. So how can you do a nice crescendo if you cannot you how much you actually have yeah so don't be lazy and I, I know a lot of the notes you have to hear
Can you play that super loud for them? So you can feel it. Take him outside again. Don't forget to close the door behind you, or the mosquitoes are going to rush into the house. Okay. Yeah. You can use the flip flop in the back. Ah! 
this week for this piece. And you need to shift your focus to the Schubert. Oh. Yeah. This is this is just like beautiful. It's kind of like crystal orange in the sky. This part. So nice. What do you have? I like this one. No. Very German last time. Yeah. I put a little bit, but it's time to put it aside. You want to take a look at this? Yeah, go ahead. This is a very expensive score. Don't be afraid, put it up there, use it, it's fine. <laughs> you can make a copy and use it from the book now. It's okay. You can make a copy after your lesson. Be lucky, Elisa. Just so you not know yet. Okay. Go ahead. Well, okay. Then I get it. No.
hypnotized? In different areas. Okay. Well. I uh, kissed my wife. I need to go pick up some. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, now from the beginning. Now with, with a little bit better.
guess what? Do you know that? Alex? Look at the look at the look at the notes in the right hand. Do you see that they are in three notes group? Yeah? It's making it convenient for you to line up the notes. Yeah. 